It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the field. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range use his length to give his opponent problems trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Just out of range with that strike. Both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. What a punch. Tries the flying knee to no avail. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Choi gets back up again. 36 total strikes have landed for Corey the Muay Thai plot. Oh, how about him toss as he takes him down? Now we'll see what he can do with him. Right into side control. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Two minutes to go in the round. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, he hurt a bat with a jab. Double leg. Stuffed. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. That kick blocked by Shore. Oh, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Real quick leg kick. Single collar tie now. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. The cardio you must have in order to secure this mini takedown. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submission. But no submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. DC, it didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Choi gets caught with that punch. Visibly limping here. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice jab by Anderson. 
All right, here, final seconds of round one. And they separate. Second round, straight ahead. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots of the replay guys to choose. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coach show, don't hit her, don't hit her. I'm young. His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, he might be out. That oh, knee, big knee there. That knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. Oh! Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it, he's defended it before it's even gotten started. Big call for Swiss Land. Now he gets back to range. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Beautiful straight punch there by Anderson. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Choi. There's no kill on that leg kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down. Double leg shot. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Anderson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be in a pain. Right under the elbow, the body kick land. So the unofficial numbers, they are good. 95 total strikes have landed for Corey Anderson. And striking at a 63% clip tonight against Corey Anderson. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He is All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Just missed with the left there. Big body kick lane. Misses again with a right punch. Nice entry there as he gets another takedown. And I know his opponent has confidence in his ability to get back up. But I got an idea. How about don't get taken down in the first place? How about so fend yourself? Over and over, you're getting taken down. You're losing the fight. You've got to change something. And for the offensive wrestling, just continue on the path. It's right. working. shot that will finish the fight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Final minute. All right, so another takedown here by Anderson. All right, full guard now, DC. 
The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Well, he's got his back now. 30 seconds to go. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. some of the replays DC and if you like the kicking game that was the round for you yeah man he used his kicks beautifully he managed distance managed space and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down he has to stay the course next round Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. And there comes the separation now. Nice strike. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very busy. Oh, and he continues to stuff these takedown attempts. And they separate. Anderson's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Head kick lands. Timely. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Big elbow. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count this one. Nice punch lands over the top. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, that's a good right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Straight right hand now just misses. Got the single collar tie. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good get-up, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend a little bit earlier if he's going to stop this guy. This guy is so committed to his wrestling that he will continue to attack it over and over again. Nice punch by Anderson. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Outstanding the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so this. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight. That was again. Nice strike. He's mixed up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Straight right hand, no good. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! 
Big roundhouse now just misses. Right hand there. And he defends yet another takedown. Seemingly every takedown attempt that has been tried has been stuffed. It's such a fast leg kick. Big power shot there. Out of range with that one. A little single collar tie there. Anderson gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Oh, that's a nice try. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27. The winner by unanimous decision, the Korean.